out here today in being in solidarity with the students of Colombia and with the people of Palestine, you are forcing the media's attention back onto this important issue. Pro-Palestinian students at Emerson College set up tents along an alley off of Boylston Street after more than 100 Columbia University students were arrested during a pro-Palestinian protest for occupying similar encampments. These demonstrators at Emerson said they're rallying for a ceasefire in Gaza and for Boston to support liberation in Palestine. As young people, we have watched for far too long our people die. And I'm tired of it. Anna Fetter, an Emerson faculty member, said students are using this space to keep Palestine in the conversation, and some professors are helping to make sure that happens. There were two faculty who were here earlier, and they brought their classes down to teach in this space. There is a revolutionary library over there with books that folks can read. Um, so they want to keep this as, a, as an alternative educational space as long as they can. I want to see these institutions not using diversity and equity and inclusion and justice as marketing, but really living them. This protest has even caught the attention of a former Emerson student who's now a city councilor. We're going to make sure that every one of our governments, every one of the administrations here knows that if they attack students, we're going to fight back. Emerson has not released any public statements about these protests. Pro-Palestinian students at BU have led marches this week across campus, but right now there's no word on whether or not they'll join in on the encampment demonstrations. Reporting in Boston for BU TV, I'm Chloe Adams.